Yo, what is going on everybody? Hope we are well. We're with A Kalamba and I want with versus Eyebrows to Chiro and Tort. And we just touch it on the bounce, just double jump. I hit it too hard on the first touch. That was my mistake there. Hit it too hard on the first touch. Because quite honestly, I was in two minds. I was like, do I do I jab this? Just like do a hook shot, sort of star thing into this. Or do I uh or do I take a soft first touch? No need to go for that. They did not need to go for that. This is the craziness. I want I want, you know, why would you go for that if you're if you're going towards your own net? You have no outward momentum. Oh, this is great. They just gotta tap tap that now. Right, ball's in the air. I'm just gonna grab this. A Karumba is up. Oh, what a save from uh Torton. We're gonna get a few bumps here. We're gonna go all the way back, let them grab the boost. See, soft touch there would have been better. Now they play across the middle of the net. It's very confusing. Just trying to move that. It's very difficult. Um, luckily, our team mate did actually block that. We're just going to go for a bump there. Didn't seem to get much on that. He's probably looking there. He's much wider now. And the reason I'm going wide, I'm going wide in safe positions. So when there's definitely no chance of a shot being able to get into the net, I'll go wider and I'll look to take boosts and stuff like that. Just make it more difficult. I've been bumped. Hopefully someone challenges that. Surprised that there was no challenge there throughout that whole sequence. But again, you can just see the teammates sitting on the boost. And the reason I'm going a bit wider now in these situations is I'm actually starting to curve in to positions to try and create a little bit more momentum. So we're here, we'll just shoot this. We'll just start hitting the ball around a bit because these, these games are getting a little bit slow. Ah, uh, double commit again. Just going to have to play that to the side. Not much I can do there. Double commit. It's, it's double committing one thing. Like double committing and a bad touch is another. Pre jump there, it's always difficult. Nice 50, that's gonna go into the air. They're gonna go for it, it's gonna be very hard to do anything with that. Again, pointless aerial. We've said it many times on this series, but there's there's nothing you can do. What a shot. Nothing you can really do. We're just gonna double jump there to block goal side. So if they shoot it on net, we're okay. That's a brilliant double up there. We've just been bumped, we'll grab this back boost. Shame we didn't get to steal their boost. I mean, ideally that's our goal here. Nice, like, ooh, we've been done. So we're just going to have to flip into that from the inside. So if you ever lose a ball like that, you've got to sort of flip into it inside to outside to prevent it. Now, Tortum is doing a great job defensively on this team. They look very strong. Again, a, a pointless sort of pre-flip. It's just very low percentage. And people will often say, and I, I've heard people say this, yeah, they may be low percentage, but man, if they hit them, they're unsavable. Well done. Yeah, great. I'd rather just, why not just play high percentage non-stop and you'll have more good looks. Okay, we've got time for this, so... We'll take it. Never mind. We had a good run. At, like We could have scored that. Bounce it off the backboard. But just see the turn. Just see the turn. Yeah, we've got a lot of people. Like, again, end of season. They're trying to do stuff. We just tap that there. And I'm going to go up here. And they're saying, I need boost. Yeah, of course you do. Looking for the bump. I'm going to go down. I know one of their players needs this boost. And this is the boost staff coming in. Look at this. So basic. Great save there from Tortum. We can kill it. Turn. Pop. At least bump them. Okay, bump them to buy ourselves a chance. Uh, the turn into the pop wasn't such a bad idea. Obviously, they had probably better outward momentum. But they just keep doing crazy flips on it. So I don't trust them really at all. Going to go here. I'm going to look strong and then drive away. They shouldn't have gone for that in my opinion. Like, they took a bad light. See how they defended the side? I'm going to grab this. They defended the side when really... You want to go, even if you're going down the side, you want to turn inside and defend the middle. Like you want to defend the middle. All right. Okay, cool. We've got a lot more time than people think here. There we go. Now you get a free ball. You, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be on the first one every time. This is very difficult. I can't really go for this. I don't want to make a, a crazy save. But they're playing it again into positions that is making us hard. Inside to outside. Look how I always get a good 50 away from the net down the wing because I'm going inside to outside on the positioning. But again, they've hit the ball away. You, If you're the first player and you're following the ball, you have to close the distance as fast as possible. Right now, I close the distance as fast as possible. Now I put the, you know what I mean? I'm closing the distance as fast as possible. Now there's an open net. This guy's defending is insane. Nice shot. Uh, Tortum, very impressive. And they're just making every save. And look at this landing they get. They come down. <laughs> Fair play. But I'm going fast to the ball. I'm being aggressive to the ball in certain situations, not all of them. But when I get the ball, I'm not I'm not blasting it away unless it's off the backboard. 
All right, so I'm not going to take the open now. I'm going to try and hit my teammate instead. Don't want to appear too obvious. People are saying, no, didn't you just miss the open net? Or you just, I'm, oh, yeah, I missed the open net. <laughs> How many teammates got that? Is it us? It is. Okay, we're going to go here. And why is he taking his time? Well, there's seven seconds left. If I bounce that away, we could be in a bad spot now. Look, they've got to build momentum. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay? Newton said that. I think that's the third law of something or other. I don't want to get smart. But here's the thing, if I hit it hard, it's so much easier for them to hit it hard back. If I just dribble it slowly, and I'm behind the hitbox, how are they going to get rid of it? Alright, we're doing well. And this is good, because we're against the I want so much, uh, and in my opinion, and I can remember actually, they, um, they, yeah, they shouldn't be too hard to beat, because they go for everything. So actually, in a solo game, most players, in all honesty, don't play, there you go, almost score an own goal. Well, now you've got a team of three, what I call normal solo players, right? They're just going to be going after everything, and you're going to see a lot of openings here. Great save from Django. There they go up into the air, and we're going to go towards the back post. And actually, we've got a nice rotation here. I'll be very surprised. So here I can come off. I can actually fake that. I don't want to even boost. I don't want to even go for an area. I can fake it. But I'll be very surprised if we lose this one. And that's confidence. We've only beaten the game 35 seconds. I'm saying, like, well, because you've got a team with no one wanting to play the third man. It's the most important spot, part of the game, isn't it? The third man. We spoke about it in the past. Bam. Front flip. Make him go up and take the boost. The ball is the weapon. Remember, the ball is the weapon. Great. We take this boost. They're going to want it. Boom. There's a double commit. Now, we just need to get it past the last one. There we go. Try and 50 into the net. We've tried that a few times so far this episode. There we go for a demo. They've got the boost. We're going to keep following them. We're going to take away this line. Look. From the inside to outside, bam, we grab that boost. That's fine that we're dead as long as they've got no boost. I don't mind. That's actually a first hit, first hit on the ball as well this episode. Uh, this this match, I should say. Hit it away. It's going to come off the ceiling. We turn. Teammates shouldn't have gone for that because they had to turn. All right. And look, look, at, yeah, almost scores a goal because our teammate turned. One turn, one lock, last lack of outward momentum, almost a goal. How crazy is that? Come up. Gonna fake it. Teammates there. That's gonna pop over the top. We're gonna grab this. We just gotta keep making sure. Hopefully they grab the mid boost. We know Aiden's got the mid boost. Great. Now we can score. They've got the mid boost. If they win that, yep, we grab this. We're we're actually under no danger. Uh, as long as they save this. We weren't under any danger at least. If I could have got the demo. Oh, these aerials. Most of the time, it is just people hitting the ball back. We still only have two points. This is hilarious. <laughs> it just shows how hard it can be. And there they go. And we'll just do a, a little side flip there. And we can go and look. Double bump. Double bump. Luckily, this the... Uh, the wow. Unbelievable. I mean, this is a terrible hit. I mean, look, two of those players went there and Az gets the win. That should not happen. It's so dangerous just smacking it off the wall. But we actually come out on top in that one. Four points. This is so funny. Shame no one follows that up. And now they've took the boost and said, we've got to have one person follow that up with the 44 boost or whatever it is you start with, 33. Open net. Can they put it in? Unlucky. But again, an open net. And this is what I think we'll probably find more of. Uh, as we go, uh, these um, these open nets in this game at least. They're going to hit it here. We're just going to drive backwards. Just single jump. Or oh, I think I actually backflipped there and it just sort of stood up. All right, teammates got speed over to it. There you go. Now you go slow though. See, because they're both back. So you, know, you can't really do anything with that. So you go fast at first to scare them off. Then we go slow. Fast at first, then we go slow to scare them off. But they're just going fast and fast. And so you just get the same outcome. I can't believe we've actually got six points. We go towards the back post. But this just shows you the reason you get no points in solo when you play is because of the cuttings. We could have actually scored a few, but that's it. Nice touch. Got to be real careful. Again, just, just a, not much of the goal side positioning safe. We can just block the middle. We block the middle. I don't care about the edges. If the ball goes to the side, it's fine. It gives me time to get back. But I do want to protect the middle. That's my main thing. To the side. Trying to protect the middle. That's fine. It's going around the outside. Remember what I said? I don't mind that. Gives us time to get back. 
I need to chase this down. That's right, you've got to chase it down. Good strip there from Aiden. Taking the ball off, and we're just going to grab this pad. He's hitting it back. Not a bad idea at all. We can turn, and we can leave it. Teammate can go without with momentum. I tried to do a power slide on the spot. Pretty difficult. Uh, it's just because I was a bit out of position. But we can just keep hold of this now, this lead. Who are they going to send the ball to, by the way? So there's two players there. Who are they going to send the ball to? Okay, a lot of ball side rotating straight into the net. They've got to go onto the backboard there with that. We've missed it, but it's okay. Two are there. Like, we can... As long as we're doing things to make the ball go to the right places, that's fine. Again, they, they just come straight to the front post. Absolutely crazy. And this is why we can't get the, a hit on the ball, but this is quite funny. Let's see if we can keep it below 100 points. 17 seconds. All right, now we're going to go from the inside to outside. It's not the best because it just set up the shot, but they're going to get the save. We had to stop that because it's. I'd rather it come into there where they can challenge it or get an easier save. Oh, my God, I've just been thrown forward. Oh, my days, not like this. Oh, Jesus. Why does this happen right at the end of every time? Tap that down. GG. Well played. Lag out of nowhere right at the end. But I'd rather do that. Go for the 50 in a, a set, you know, a bad thing. Ping ruin. Ping happened at the end, bro. Ping happened at the end. We're div three so far. We haven't lost a game. Hopefully. All right, then. Here we go. Another game. I can't believe we're on a... We're actually overall... I think we're on a crazy win streak. Which is nice to see. So they've lost their dodge there with that one. We've got to play across the, the net. And look, they both wanted the boost. And this is where the confusion happened. He nearly scored an own goal there. It's fine with this centre board. Teammate, though, last man just goes for this boost. It's crazy. Let's just get that on there. Because they're out of position. There you go. Uh, I'm going to start shooting, I think, with that one. Um, just because it's just ridiculous how look look everyone's out of position no one's central and I, unless i show you about shooting you're never going to be able to advance i don't think this is only champ so it's only, that's a front flip but i'm just going to show you that if you just can shoot if you can just shoot you know you'll you'll be pretty good you'll be pretty good because the net's usually open that's what i'm trying to explain sorry i'm going to go back for this boost there's so many misses still in uh, in champ and there, to be honest there will be for the remainder of this it's another opportunity. Just going to hit it around them. And just tap it into the middle. Tap it into the middle like that. Now look at this formation we've got. We've got a very threatening formation here. Yeah, we've got a very... Yeah, they've got to go for that. And we grab this because that's what they're going for. Sky's got no boost. So we drag them. We drag them. What are you going to do now, buddy? Nothing. Shame our teammates couldn't go for that. Obviously, um, I'm just doing my thing. They're both facing the play. So, Stilly... Or still to, yeah, they, they sort of, a lot of questioning there if to go or not. They should have just gone. But yeah, we're just going to take the boost. They couldn't have done anything, but we did. Uh, we didn't actually challenge the ball off Mr. Boost again. Oh, there we go. So close. So close. Um, again, pointless aerial. So we just put a shot towards the net. And nearly force another own goal. Again, if, if you add some air roll to that instead, if you want to make it fancy, we're not going to add that. Uh, maybe when we're looking for grand jump. But uh, if you had air roll, that's a goal because the net's open. Nice little thing. But again, that's fine. We can do that because we're forcing towards the outside. And we don't mind that. Obviously, if this was real, you could go. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame they took that shot. We could have scored. They didn't really have the best angle for that. We just tap it. I don't know why I tapped that, actually. Because normally I would have gone for a half flip there. And I ended up tapping it instead. But it's like... But everyone's clearing out, like, look, I'm under pressure. Where are you going if I'm under pressure, guys? Are you going to come and help me? No. That's the problem with this game. You, they see you under pressure, and they just sort of leave you to it. Oh, I was going to say, I thought he was going to miss that. Should I have gone for that flick? Um, thanks, nice shot. I mean, it's a front flick. Uh, I, I, I feel that's okay. Yeah, I feel that's okay. It's a tower with one eye. <laughs> um... I don't think that's that's anything to be concerned about, really. It wasn't like I carried it on the car. There was no carry. It was just literally a front flip like that when the ball bounced. Um, and that's one of my favorite ways to uh, to actually progress plays. So I would like to show you it. Soft touch and grab the boost. Inside to outside. Which means what? Which means it gives us time to get back. It's not going to go directly to net. I can lose it and it'll go towards net. Don't get me wrong, but it won't be direct. It'll have to bounce off a few walls first. And that gives us time again. What have we talked about this series with the aerials? Yeah, I don't know if that was really worth going for. We're just going to go inside to outside. And I use a side flip to do it. Pointless aerial. We go back. They're wasting boost. They're wasting boot. Teammates there, they've got it. Good stuff. 
come here, wait for this shot here. That's going to be difficult for them. And then we're just going to get rid of it. We look around. Oh, the net's open. Is it going to bounce favorably? No, it's not. That's a shame. Uh, but then what do we do? We grab the boosts. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And now I go here. Because I might need to go up to the backboard. Boom, team wins. I'm technically the second man, so I'm going to start pushing forward. I'm trying to read the play. Okay, I can. I could have made that, but it wouldn't have been worth going for. Let it go to your last man. That's really risky. Nicely done there to follow it up. And we're going to grab this and turn onto the inside here. Ready to make a play because both our teammates are ahead. And the first man there, well, the second man isn't rotating behind the play. See how he's actually still in front of the ball, which is not really very good for us. I'm going to go behind them. We need them to play and then rotate, play and then rotate. And once you get used to that sort of speed, the play and rotate, you see how we're in a, a little bit of a, a confusion here? Like who goes for the ball because of the way they rotated? If they rotated on the backboard, I would have known this is mine. But they came down and just, just confused it. But no big drama here. Look at this unnecessary touch coming up. There it is. I knew it was good with. But this teammate should have been in net because that could have been a, a, a donk to net there. So you do have to still be in there. There we go. Great defending here. Okay, we come up. Look at the, look at the threatening in here. Look at it. It's my ball. No, it's not. I'm faking him. I'm faking him. There we go. I'll let my teammate now take it. Sorry. Sorry. That's my bad. That is big time my bad. Right, we're going to grab this before anyone else. They should have carried on. They were right in front of everyone for the ball. And now, look for a demo. Scare them. Look for another demo. Why are they so wide on the wrong side? Okay, never go wide on the opposite side. Not when you don't have possession. See how he's getting closed down by three people? They went wide. We've got to come from the inside out there. So we're going to win that 50 strong. And right here, I'm going to make a beeline for this boost. And straight back in. Teammates really far out the plate. But yeah, right now, the last thing I want to be is on that right side. Because the ball's going to yeah, come to the middle, right? Good stuff there on your little flip reset. So that's pretty cool. I think that was a flip reset. We can just double jump, create some sort of contact, grab the mid boost. Hopefully, teammate follows up. Right, the only one we've got to be worried about is that guy because he's in the middle. So we take him out of the plate. That way, we don't get a goal against us. We get a goal for us. So you see, always do that. If you make a play, this way, I force the play to the outside. That gives me the ability to look around. I'm looking for demos. Right, the main person I want to demo, nice shot, GG, well played. The main person I need to demo is the central man. That's the only person who's really going to be able to score if we're defending properly. So that's what I do. I force by going for the inside. Because people are asking what I mean by inside to outside. I mean central and I want to flip towards the outside. So I want to get on the inside of the ball. Let me try and explain it here. Okay, so if like the ball is on... I want to just be coming outward. So this is the inside of the pitch, this ball. Like imagine there's a line right through the middle here, right? So there's a line right here. When I'm doing a 50, if it's on this side, like to say here, I want to be coming. If I'm like, if they've got the ball, and I'm playing defense. I want to be coming from the inside to outside. Okay, so for, for this position, it would be inside to outside. Inside to outside. I want to be pushing the ball towards the wall on my 50. That doesn't mean doing this if they're if they're there. I don't mean come around it like this and go inside. Out. No, because they're going to win that because you don't have money box. But you want to basically blade where the net is. You want to protect the net inside, boom to outside. That's what you got to be thinking. I haven't been playing too crazy for you guys. Hopefully it's been fair. I, I want to keep this series as fair as possible. Where people say, yeah, you know what? He really did use fair mechanics for the rank. In fact, if anything, he used less mechanics for the rank, but he won with strategy. That's what I want people to say, that it was all done via strategy and positioning. All right, and we will call it there for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for these. So thank you very much, everybody. Look after yourself. Have a nice life and peace out. Peace.